Hello everyone, I do apologize for that. I had to turn off some mods and hope that's going to be better because it, it was so laggy on the last video that I'm not going to post that video that that was bad in the middle of the run. I just had to, I had to stop it. But today we're back in SGS's 579. We got a load of fertilizer going up from Bakersfield, California to Oakdale, California. 211 miles. Trucks around the Cummins in 14. 18 speed in full transmission. Well, let's get on the road. Hoping that fixed the issue. I had to turn off some mods. And see if that fixed the problem. The lag was getting ridiculous. Turn right. Uh, it's a shame I turned off the traffic mod I was using, but Get ready I don't know if that was left. what was causing the issue, but turn left. How's everyone doing? Hope everyone's doing well. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Hoping to get back in here and start doing a lot more content. That's what I want to do. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, been having some issues, you know, with LSPDFR and stuff, but you know, got things back working. Once we get on the road, we'll turn off that uh, the map. Uh. We can turn it off now. Alright, hit the wrong button. As usual. Go straight on. Uh, as of right now, there hasn't really been anything else that I wanted to bring over here to the channel. Um, I am currently playing Resident Evil 3. The remaster, if you would like to see Resident Evil 3 on the YouTube channel, you know, let me know. Um, I can restart it and play it again. I've actually got Resident Evil 2, and I've started playing it again because it appears that Resident Evil 3 happens oh, before on. Resident Evil 2. So, the, the story and, you know, the timeline and stuff. So, pretty interesting to, to see that. Because honestly, I, I, I didn't know that, so, you know, that's something new. Um, I know Mudrunner is coming out. I did download the Epic Game Store. I'm not a fan of the Epic Game Store, but I did download it get ready to turn really back. so I can get Mudrunner. Turn right. Um, but I did try to, I did play Resident Evil 2 before, oh, it's good, and I put some of it over here on the channel, and y'all, you know, it was not really watched. So, that's why I didn't, I haven't recorded any of it, any of 3. We will just be We will get a ticket for sure. Slow down. It's 
They let me hear you know, it's 55 in California. Go straight on. Hopefully we can get a thumbnail. We get enough light somewhere it has enough light. Um, I haven't been using a lot of modded trucks lately guys because I am waiting for the update to come out 1.7. I don't want to buy, you know, a, a lot of modded trucks, put it in the garage, and then you have to sell all of them when the update comes out. Because well, the way these modded trucks work is, you just can't, I mean, now, if you have a Steam version, sometimes you still have to sell your old truck. It, it, you know, it doesn't matter if you do have a steam version of the truck or not. Sometimes you still have to sell it. So I would prefer not to really buy one right now knowing you know that the beta is out of 1.7 which we should see very soon probably launch to full version of the game. So I just want to wait you know until I know there's a lot of them's already been updated. Uh, Viper's already updated his 3 to 89 you know a lot of them have already been updated, you know, to have the animated windows and the new, uh, for the new sounds and stuff, so. Yeah, we're going to find somewhere that has a, uh, maybe we'll find someone has some light when we get a thumbnail. So I hope everyone's doing well. Uh, like, and like I said, I haven't really seen anything uh, that I want to really play that's come out right now. Um, so I haven't really downloaded anything new except for Resident Evil 3. I did get back into playing some flashing lights. And I wanted to record flashing lights, but I use shadow play. And unfortunately, shadow play doesn't support flashing lights, so... I have no way to record it. Getting a little carried away in our speed here. So we got our passenger. Now I had planned on running the 389 because um, I had been using the Volvo uh, running the trailer market and I went to check this truck, look at my truck, so this truck showed it didn't have no engine. Uh, currently this truck had a CAT C15 in it and I guess the monitor that 
made the engine, must have removed it or something like that. So it didn't have no engine. So I had to go in and replace the engine in the truck. So I decided, why not? We'll go ahead and run it. I'll probably not do the same thing to the T680 because I, I think he had the same engine in it. Still trying to find a good area. Get a Go thumbnail. On. I have reinstalled the uh, Maurice 97's 2700 pack back in the LSPD. I do enjoy that car pack a lot. That's, uh, I, I like the variety of the vehicle. I'm not using a newer car pack. And I, and I get that question asked a lot about why I haven't really started using the newer stuff. Uh, there's nothing wrong with the newer car packs. You know, you're starting to see the 2020 Explorers. You're seeing the 2019 the Tahoes. Uh, you know, the 2020 Tahoe's, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's just because I use other agencies, there is no textures out that will work for me the work I can use those car packs and those agencies will work. So I have to kind of use the car packs that will work for the other agencies that I use. I've been kind of thinking about bringing back, you know, the other agencies that I had in the past. You know, Sandy Shores PD, you know, stuff like that. Uh, I did I did enjoy it. And since I'm using the same car pack in every area of the, uh, you know, for the whole map, it, it, it kind of works out better because that's the way I like to do it. I'm hoping, you know, Maurice 97 is the, is the maker of that pack. Hoping maybe he'll update it or either he'll come out with another good car pack like that. I know a lot of the modders, like I said, have moved on to making, you know, packs with the 2020 models. Which, you know, totally fine. Um, to see, but, um. I do, I do like the look of the, you know, the, the 14 Charger, so. We're going to get a thumbnail right up here up in this light. Right there. Hopefully it'll be bright enough where we can see the truck and other thing. Try not to get that car in there. Go on this side. We'll get a few cars, and now that's okay. We can do with a little bit to. Uh, Oh, 
Hopefully that'll be bright enough. Exit right. Turn right. Get some back road driving for a little while here. I did it again. Oh, we're about there. Yeah, we'll leave that up. That was a quick trip, you know, it was like 200 miles. They want it right in the corner. We can do that. A little bit off there. Bring it over here a little bit. Still a little bit too over too much. Right the corner.
There we go. All right, we drove excellent. We drove 212 miles. It took us five hours, 15 minutes to get there. We, we consumed 37.1 gallon of fuel. So what do we got? We got got some dried milk going up to Oregon, to Portland. We got some more dried milk going to Arizona. That's in California. 82 miles. That's too far. That's too far. We're not going to take none of those loads. Alright guys, that's going to be it for this first video. Uh, I'm going to be doing some more. Uh, Mary's truck somewhere, of course. I uh, may change up trucks. Uh, maybe haul the hopper trailer a little bit. I got another truck I use for that. Uh, thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Have a good day.